You are listening to North American Public Radio. Refugees in Southeast Asia are so numerous as to be beyond help, according to the zone within 150 miles of the former U.S. border to satisfy the guerrilla group's demands. Which was unavailable when something might have still been done. The oceans are rising and fast. Whether this can come in time to prepare for the melt that this summer's expected record heat will bring. anything <laughs> I, 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 I don't understand we, we hadn't spoken for years I don't what When's the, uh, when's the funeral? Yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be there. Uh, Danny. Wow. I'll be there. What's up? Sucks. Do you think I can get twenty bucks? Yeah. Yeah, my uh, my wallet's in the kitchen. Wednesday, April 27th. The last polar bear living in the wild died in Siberia this week, according to Itar Tass, the Russian news agency. The bear, which had been tranquilized and relocated in the southern Arctic area, was reported to be the Suicides of 19 Nunavut bio hostage takers ended a six day standoff there yesterday. American advisors transits the expansion of the southeast water rationing the curfew area to include seven Tennessee counties, bringing the population of the zone to over 15 million.
from Mouth Oregon, Michael Shields, and Shields. Thank you. This is the news at five o'clock. Tension mounts in the Far East. The peace talks between India and China. Campaigning among troops in the Arctic said polar ports are crucial to North American security and that Eskimo terrorists would suffer the consequences of their actions. They said you'd come back. Hey. It's gonna be okay. Okay? I'm gonna call somebody, all right? Just hang in there, okay? Sorry, I missed the funeral. Come with me. Dad's in here. There was a, an accident. This boy died. Dad, look who's here. Russell. Dad, thank you for coming. We'll be having dinner here tomorrow. I'll expect you? Yeah, I, uh, I'm really gonna have to get out of town quick. I, I have a professor covering my courses. But it's been so long. This is Mr. Barnes, the lawyer for the estate. How do you do? Russell Marsh. My condolences. I'm sure the two of you have a lot to discuss. Russell, we'll talk later. Okay. Perhaps we can meet at my office in a few days. Uh, I'd like to get out of town as quickly as possible. Well, this isn't the sort of thing that you can do over the phone. Well, fine, let's just take care of it now. Actually, there's the auction at the end of the week. Auction? For what? We're selling your grandmother's house. <laughs> well, your sister should have told you this. No, she didn't. <sighs> so, what else does the will say? The will divides the proceeds from the sale equally between the two of you. <sighs> That's the way my mom wanted it. 
your mother hope that by giving you this responsibility, she would attempt to mend the divide between you and your family. And that was my mom for you. The eternal optimist. Listen, Mr. Barnes, I would really just like to get everything taken care of as quickly as possible. Is there any way we could just hold the auction tomorrow? I'm afraid that the secretary of the Preservation Society must be there. Okay, fine. Well, then I'd like the keys to the house. I wouldn't recommend going over there right now. The fumigators have the whole place closed up. Nobody gets in until after the auction. Excuse us, please.
This is my husband, Jake. Hello. Brother. Nice to meet you. Learn a lot about you. Yeah. Look at you. It's so good to see you. Even if this is what it took. Oh. Danny, I'm sorry I didn't make it. Mike, it's, it's okay. I, I know you wanted to be there. Hey, Russ. Hey. Well, we should, uh, we should go. Pretty tired. Did you guys catch up? I have to go. Oh, well. Um. You know what? I have a okay, camera. Just yes. get it over with. You know it's coming. You've seen the album. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let me get a picture of you two. Okay. Come on, closer. Closer. All right. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. That's great. Okay, well, here, why don't you keep this? Maybe you want to take some pictures while you're here. Um, are you sure you don't want to stay at the house? No, no, I'll be fine. I'm... I already booked into the motel, so I need some time. Okay, well, just give me a call tomorrow. Come by around 5. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye, Bye, Bye. 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 Russ. Hey. You look different. Yeah, I feel different. Older. I've never seen you in a suit. Yeah. Suit. Danny tells me you were, um, you were divorced. Jess and I got married and moved to Salt Lake. I don't think this fell apart, though, you know? Salt Lake City, Utah. I have a daughter. Chelsea. She's nine. Wow. She's beautiful. Hey, hey, Gilbert, can we get a couple of beers? Uh, just, uh, just one. So you towed that wreck today, huh? Yeah. You know, I was there. I saw that kid. The kid from the Delta. I'm into town. The first thing I do is see an accident. I had that kid's head in my hand. He knew me, too, you know. He knew exactly who I was. Walk right out of that into my mom's funeral. Great to be back home. What are things like with your dad? It's... Dad, are you serious? It's just gotten worse. I mean, he's so formal. I mean, he's... He's crazy. I mean, he's obviously gone off the deep end. I mean, he's wearing a purple jumpsuit at my mom's wake. I mean... Look, your shoe is untied. <laughs> you know what I was thinking about is Trow Hill. Yeah, we used to take Julie and uh, Mary up there. Julie Bronson, sure. <laughs> Mike, I didn't forget anything, man. I didn't forget anything. And the first thing I did when I came here, I went to the net shed. Well, you know, things are a lot different now. We made a lot of plans there together. Yeah, when I was there, I saw... I don't know what I saw, actually. Oh, you? Are you faking it with Julian? No, I wasn't. You know, I was just figuring things out, you know? I guess we never talked about it. It's a long time ago. You still have those scars?
Hello. Yeah. Hey, Russ. Yeah, I was just um, I was just uh, calling to see how you're doing. I was um, it was it was good to see you. I'm good. I'm good. It was good to see you. Just calling to um, you know, see if um, I don't know if, if maybe you know tomorrow you want to get together, have a drink or something. Ten, ten thirty. You know, I may, I may have to take off for a bit. You know, the the tow truck thing. Uh, whenever. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Well, um. Okay. Well. All right. You too. I'll talk to you later. Bye. You're the nephew. No, my father is. Listen, my sister said she was doing better. Can we get her out of here? The bullet chart for you. The last few months, she seems to be getting more excitable. Don't visit very often, do you? No. Well, you'll find her very difficult to talk to. Josie, your nephew's here. You've grown. How you doing? I'm fine, except for everything that isn't fine. They don't listen here. No one listens. Oh, it's been a long time. Why the fuck did you come back here? You need to stay away. How's your mother? Um, she's, she's fine. She left something for you. In case she dies. Something at the mansion. And it's just for you, so don't let those salty bitches get their hands on it. What is it? 
It's in the basement. It's in the furnace. Nurse, nurse, nurse! Uh, they won't let me talk much. I... Who won't let you talk? You, you need to go to the house now. Okay. Go. Okay. Go. Okay. What, what, what's in the house? What did my mother tell you? What's there? Do not go to the house. Okay. I, I, I won't go. I, but I, I, I just want you to tell me what my mother told you. What did, what did, she, what did she hide from me? What, what does she have for me? You don't need to go poking around that old place. They're going to sell it. No, it's, it's okay, because I'm going to buy it. Oh. I think you need to discuss that with your father. You have been a terrible disappointment to him. I know. It makes him so sad about you. So my father comes to visit you? He was here before your mother died. Who told you my mother died? He loves you, Russell. But Josie. Yes, dear. <sighs> you take care of yourself. Don't forget to go to the house. Yeah. She said if anything should happen that you should go to the house. And I know you don't talk to people much because you're being a fag and all that, but I don't care because some of my best friends were fags. Now give my love to your mother and your sister too. Okay. Goodbye, love. Oh, you'll get yours. They'll punish you. But family is family. We'll take you back. We'll take you home with us. Goodbye, dear. Don't be a stranger. Russ, tell Jake and Dad how you got the job as chair. There's not really much to tell, you know, I, um, the position came up and uh, a colleague submitted my name and um, the department uh, voted for me by a majority. Well, the, the man they expected it to go to won the Nobel Prize. Oh, no, it was the, the Pulitzer, won the Pulitzer. But uh, yeah, he, he hadn't written very much since then, so. You're writing a book on the Old West, aren't you? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, there's, there's more roles, if you okay. like. Okay. So, how's the, uh, how's the church? How's the gay life treating you, Russell? It's my life. Is it satisfying? Are you fulfilled? What do you want to know? You want to know what we do? Russ, Daddy, just please, just stay, know. stay out of this. Look, I came back for Danny's sake and for my mom. That's all. Danny, these are sensational roles. Mm. They're store bought. Yes, but they're wild caught. You're drunk. Yes, I am. I am. I am. But apparently, that is the only way that I can get to a dinner with you. But. That does not change the fact that I am gay. And it doesn't change the fact that you've spent the last 10 years pitching the same tired Joseph Smith frontier horse shit to anyone who'll buy it because apparently nobody knows anything anymore. What is a real church, Russell? I don't know. The old ones have always been with us. The Christians 2,000 years ago drawing a fish for their sign. And 10,000 years before that, in Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia. in the span of a dead, single so lifetime, suddenly you himself. have so, yeah, planting and seed really and harvesting, yeah, buying sure, and selling not? land, accounting. Did Christ or Moses or Muhammad Would it be possible just for Buddha one night to go without knowledge? a fucking sermon? All we want is what, 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 what are you talking about? What does that mean? What does that mean, we want? We just wish you could raise a family. Why? I wasn't raised in one. Russell. Think of the legacy you could leave. Uh, you, if you want some grandchildren, you should set these two guys on that, because I am out of the running. You know, you made me what I am. I've been trying to have new kids for a long time now. I don't have anything to thank you for. 
Everything I have today comes from the distance that I put between myself and this family. I'm sorry. What I said down there, I had no idea. I know. I hadn't told you. That was rough, wasn't it? Yeah, no. I guess there's no bringing you two together. No. I'm gonna take off tomorrow. Oh, come on. What did you expect? This isn't my life anymore. Oh, your life. Well, your life includes being the chair of a department of the finest university in the Northwest. Now, I'm no college professor like you, but it sounds to me like you're the boss and you could do whatever you want. But I guess you are doing whatever you want. I mean, God forbid you'd see something through or give somebody a second chance. <sighs> I stayed, Russell. I was here the whole time. I held her when she was sick. I was here the whole time. I don't understand. How That's you... right. You don't understand. And I don't understand you. Nobody understands you, Russell. We love you, but nobody understands you. I wasn't gonna say anything, but Julie's a fuck. If you don't get her, then I'm gonna have to. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta admit, she is pretty nice. She's a babe. Definitely. so bad. I mean, I had no idea they were trying to have kids. Hey, look at this. I've seen that, man. What are you talking about? This used to be one at my grandparents' place. My grandfather, he was in the Pacific. Yeah? He brought it back. It's some kind of an idol or part of an idol. Guess I where know. I found it? My motel room this morning. They're probably making them for tourists. Look at this. this it's, it's not writing. It's not a language. I know. Day gone. Naturally. Yeah. Let me see. It was a cargo cult in the South Sea Islands. Once everybody in Rivermouth had one of these. The islanders used them for human sacrifice to bring up the old ones from under the sea. That's that's what it is. I yeah. Was my was my second guess. Gilbert. Remember Ray Roebuck? Yeah. You got any fresh pretzels? Just tell the story, please. I'm dying. I'm dying here. You and Ray. 
summer of 1967. Ray and I were cursing about a mile off the Pedro Bank. Yeah, and uh, you've been tripping your asses off for uh, about five days. All right, so we've been taking some drugs. All right, so you guys are an ass at what happens. You and Ray in the boat, very romantic. You know how when you're persaining, you pick up all kinds of things that you're not actually trying to catch? Yes. Well, one night, we pick up this thing in the neck. Looked like a giant baby. It's a great story. I'm cutting you off. What? You talked too much. Finish the story. So what's the connection between this? Hey, 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 I'm sorry. Just finish the story. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Russ, this is my friend Susan. Hi. <laughs> Mike, you know Susan. Heard a lot about you. Oh, really? Good things, I hope. Mm. Uh, we ran into a guy who broke down by the bridge. Uh, I said we were headed over here if he called. I think it's his radiator. Well, you're still working? Yeah. So we're going to swim tomorrow. Oh. I'll fix the filter. Oh. You should come. Bring your brother here. Oh, Russ doesn't swim. He's afraid. Oh. Thank you. Just let everyone know. I appreciate that. Susan's fun. You don't swim. You grew up on an island, you don't swim. It's only an island if you look at it from the ocean's perspective. Mm. Well, go fix a car, but please, you know, give me a call, leave a message. Oh, I have to run, too, so I just want to make sure we're on for tomorrow at noon. Yes, I, yes, for the, how many okay, times? Great. I will be there. Bye. You ready? Call Bye. me, call me. Well, you should come over tomorrow. Be nice to have a barbecue. It's a sad time for everyone. Yeah, it is. Apparently, that's the way people deal with their grief around here, just eat barbecue. Hmm. Russ is the Dean of Cascadia. No, no. Russ is the lowly chair of the history department at Cascadia. What about you? What do you do? <laughs> I work in the sea lion caves. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> ah, in the sea lion caves. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you don't remember me from school, do you? I don't think so. No? Well, it was uh, my maiden name was uh, Russell. Susan Russell. Susan Russell. Mm. Just like you, Russell. <laughs> but uh, I, was, I was in junior high by the time you left high school, so I don't think you would have noticed me then. But you notice me now, wouldn't you, Russ? So are you staying around for the May Festival? I don't think so. I really liked it. My, my husband has a book about these. Really? Yeah. A book? What book? Oh, I wouldn't know. Just an old history book. It's very old. Mm. <laughs> you should come check it out sometime. Actually, um, you should stop by and see me at work this week, and then we could just run to my house, grab some lunch, take a look at that old book. <laughs> my husband's in the in a wheelchair, so he doesn't get much company. You guys would get along great, though. Watches the History Channel all the time, big fan. Oh. Oh. Okay, so you want me to meet you at work, or? Sea Lion Caves. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to see this book. Great. Today? Today. It's you, Russ. Okay. Hey, Gilbert, line him up. Relax. Just, just take it easy. Take it easy. Give me the rock. Give me the rock. Come on. You want to know what this is? You want some answers? 
I'll give you her answers. Fine. Get over to the liquor store and get me a bottle and a six pack. Okay, okay. Well, what are you standing there for? Get moving. Meet me at the dock. Here. No. It's 1846. Thanks. Thanks. Don't you want your receipt? your booze. My grandmother told me, she told me, there was an island covered with a ruined city out there in the middle of the Pacific, and boats from Rivermouth put in there. Captain Marsh said, you had to see how beautiful it was, how rich. They drop their nets into the water and the fish would just swim towards them. They held their rituals in the net sheds, in human things. And they're meeting in there again now. There were people. There were fucking people, man. Elizabeth Parnell, Frank Oakes, Robert Camberwell. You know who they were? Do you give a shit? These were the kids that disappeared. They were my friends. I seen what went on in those houses, those big houses up there on Gable at night, man. When my great uncle Matt tried to stop them, they came out of the sea and killed lots of people. And that's nothing. That is nothing on what they're gonna do. You killed my family. You killed my friends! Fuck you, you frog-faced fish rats! You know what a Shoggoth is? You ever hear of it? No. They come back and everybody goes with them back into the sea. The ape children drowning!
Get in the car. No. Get in the car. No. Get in the car. No. What's your name? Julia. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Russell Marsh. Take a look at my driver's license. Right there. I'm staying right down the road, lamp ladder in room 212. Call your parents. You want to call your parents? They'll tell you that you're getting a ride with the most notorious homosexual in the county. Get in the car. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? going to wait till the next stranger comes into town, going to write a little note for him on his receipt? Huh? Get in the damn car. You don't know or you won't say. Who are they, the church? I don't know. Nobody walks. They all stay in their cars. And I work the night shift anyway, so I never see any of them. Most nights I take the cliffside bus and there's never even anybody on it. <laughs> I don't even know what these people do for money. So what about all the people that go missing? You know, you're from here. You could probably tell me more than I could tell you. Really? Jesus! <laughs> you have to watch out for deer. <laughs> it's okay. We can keep going. I don't think that was a deer. No, it's fine. We can go. You stay here. Okay, look. Hey, you know, this is really dangerous. You want to tell me? Listen, Julia. Right here. All right, listen, I know you're scared to talk. Thanks for the you ride. <sighs> Julia, wait, just wait. Julia, wait.
greetings, Russell. Hey. Hey. So, uh, where are all the sea lions? No. Oh. You know what they say about sea lions? They were fish who evolved into men. And then they changed their minds. So they changed their minds again. Do you remember coming here when you were five years old? Told your mom that you were going to marry her? Live in that lighthouse? And she would be the queen of the sea? You remember that house? You said it was a secret. And it would be revealed that you were the king. That's when everything would change. The world would change. You mind telling me how you know that? Relax. I used to take care of your mom. She told me all kinds of stories. She was very sweet. Yeah, well, it's just something I believed in back then. It's, it's a fairy tale. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. I can still go see some bears. Don't worry. That, that's something you don't see every day. Hmm. They take your head off if they have a chance. They're so beautiful. <laughs> so, you wanna go back to the house? Grab some lunch? Take a look at that. Yeah, let's do that. Hi, nice to meet you. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Yeah, um, Susan was telling me you have a, a book. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. What the fuck? Come on! <laughs> I found this uh, object and, uh... Hey, make yourself at home, man. Okay. <laughs> Listen, Susan, it's, uh getting late. I'm gonna have to go into town and see the lawyers. Mm -hmm. I could just see that book of your husband's. That would be great. Yeah. I need your help with something. What do you need? Give me your... I want you to give me a baby. Ralph's infertile. I mean, we don't even have to have sex. Susan, I can't. I can't. Uh... Listen, Susan told me you had a, uh, a book. I, I, I found this uh, object the other day, and uh... I'll go make lunch. Have a seat, buddy. She's gonna have lunch ready in a minute. Game's on. Yeah, she she was telling me that you had a, an old book or something. Uh huh. Um... Uh -huh. <sighs> Listen, I mean, I I don't have to take up a lot of your time if you just you know. Oh, that's cool. 
I can go get it if you want. No, 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 that's all right, man. I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Okay. Here's my story, man. A year ago, I'm uh, working some construction down in the marshlands, fucking around on the second story on a beam, and, uh, and I fell. And a piece of rebar, exposed rebar, right through my testicles, like a pair of marshmallows. Put me in this chair. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. I can, I can still make a call, but no one's on the line, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, anyway, I say I'll get my legs back, but... Can you help me? Oh, yeah, sorry, what do you need? No, no, Russell, Russell. I need you to help me have a kid. Right. So... S Susan needs your swimmers. Yeah, no, I, I got that. I didn't know you guys were both involved in this. Um, so, why me? Why am I so special? Because you're good-looking, smart. You don't live here. No complications. Don't you want to have a piece of yourself walking around in the world? Um, it's a, uh, it's a lovely offer, um, but, um, I think I'm gonna have to say no. Let's eat. Shall we, boys? Come on. Let's roll. Ten. $10,000. It's not, it's not about the money, Ralph, okay? It's $50,000. $50, $50, $50, okay? I, 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 uh, I just came over so I could see the book, okay? So just okay. show me the book and I'll go, okay? okay. Plenty of other fish in the sea. Fine. I just, I just need to see the book. How are you feeling, Russ? I'm fine. I just need to get you. Maybe something you ate didn't agree with you? No, I just, I just need to get you. Hey, well, let's go in the living room. Let's go in the living room. Where did you get these? Is there a problem? The library is closed. Frank. There are names on the wall of the net shed. They go back a hundred years, more. You should hear yourself. You're trying to tell me this is some kind of memorial? Maybe it's a list, Mike. I can't believe you. You're trying to tell me your father and his church, they're, they're killing people. Why not? I have no idea what my dad's been doing. Jonestown Massacre? Doesn't ring a bell? 1970s, cult from San Francisco, thinks it's gonna be a great idea. Let's go down to South America. Let's all go to heaven at once. They drink a batch of poison Kool-Aid. Hundreds of them, Mike. Listen, I don't know what it is. I don't know, but it is not a memorial. I don't know what to think about what you're telling me. Just, it doesn't seem real. 
Well, your name's on the wall. Come on, let's go. Do you really need to do this? Yeah, I do need to do this. Well, do you want to take this? Jesus Christ, what the hell are you doing with this thing in your car? Everything's more fun with a gun, right? Are you Russ? fucking crazy? You have a daughter, man. Put this thing away. I don't want to see this again. <laughs> Just be here when I get out. Okay. If anybody comes, I'll honk. Listen, thank you. Just hurry up. Ben, you gonna give me a hard time? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I thought I had a call. Didn't happen, huh? No, but I I'm taking off, though. Okay. See you later. Good luck.
your house? You live downstairs. We're waiting. What do you mean, what are you waiting for? Cthulhu. Oh yeah, is that right? Hey, listen, uh, you know, I, uh, I know someone who knows you. You know that? Your, uh, your sister? I don't have a sister. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, she gave me your, uh, she gave me your picture. Julia Miles. Right? I can't. The mind's eye. The mind's eye goes away, too. That's right. That's right. Listen. We gotta get out of here. Follow me. Kellen! Kellen! Kellen!
hell happened to you? What the hell happened to you? I waited for you, but a cop showed up. I looked around until about three in the morning. I came out and you were gone. You were gone. You said you'd be there and you were gone. I came back for you. Slow down. Okay. And what are you trying to tell me? I'm trying to tell you that tell the kids me? said they live underground. They, the giant salamanders. Yeah, the giant know. salamanders, but you weren't there. I'm telling you, they were huge. They were all over the place, Rose, Mike. I think you've... Yeah? I think you need to slow down. Oh, I'm man. crazy? Okay, well, when we go back there and find the camera that took the pictures of them, you'll believe me. How do, you, how do you explain the fact that when I got out of the tunnel, I was at 11th and Main? That means that that You're tunnel... You're talking about the Shanghai tunnel, uh, oh, right? Oh, right, because that Chinese guy came and talked and to us in high school, saying. and you just believe every fucking piece of shit that you hear? We've both been down there. What about the names in the net shit, huh? What about the names in the I'm net sure shit? I'm sure there's a... I'm sure that there's an explanation. Oh, what is that, UFOs? I need some, I need some, uh, jelly. Do you have any jelly? Russ, you've been up for, like, Do you have any fucking jelly? Been up Do you have any jelly? Days. It's a very simple question. Do Why you have any you jelly? just relax and stay here for a little bit and get some rest? You're a very bad host, man. You know he's right. Dreaming of the open road, but afraid of today's dangerous world. Well, don't be with our new incredible... A gated community with exclusive access to Interstate 805. Behind our 24-hour armed security perimeter at the marshlands, the world is yours. Back for so long, allow you to live your life anew. Hey, Mike, let me ask you a question. What? When was the last time you met someone who lives in Rivermouth, but who used to live somewhere else? I tell people go out of town every day, right? No, no, listen to me, listen to me, Mike. I'm talking about someone who used to live somewhere else, but moved here. I don't know, I don't pay attention. Well, you should start paying some attention. Everybody I've met in the past two days has been someone who I've known my whole life, right? So who, who are all these people driving around at midnight buying frozen yogurt? I mean, the, the, you, you've got rush hour traffic at 10 o'clock at night. During the day, it's dead. I mean, who are they? they? They don't come downtown, I can tell you that. I don't know, Russ. Yeah, okay. So, how come they're, they're holding services out at the net shed all of a sudden? I think they're selling the church. Oh, are they? You know that for a fact? No. Exactly. So, how do you explain the girl and her brother? You know, I don't know. I mean, if you need to, just call the sheriff or something. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna call the sheriff. That's a great idea. Hey, sheriff. Uh, yeah, it's Russell Marsh. I, I was, uh... I'm not gonna call the sheriff, Mike. Come on, Mike. Think about it. Why did you take me there last night if, if you weren't just a little bit curious? I wanted to help and, you know, that net shed and, and going there with you, it reminds me of a part of my life that made sense. story though. Not in which in the wardrobe, right? 
it's World War II. And these kids, they go into this, this war drill. And uh, they go into it, and when they step through, they come into this other place. You know, and, and as they grow up, two of them, they fall in love, and they become the king and the queen. And, you know, they have adventures, and they spend their whole lives there. And um, they decide to go back, and when they do, they, they step right into where they left off. They're five years old, it's World War II, and, and their aunt, she's calling them to dinner. And what just happened, you know, it, it feels a lot like that to me. You know, we've gone back to the, the net shed, you know. I mean, when we were kids and, and we fooled around, you know, to me it was always an extension of our friendship, Russ. And, you know, it still feels that way to me. I just, you know, it just was never a gay thing for me. You know, I don't, I don't want you to feel any pressure for me. I mean, I mean, I'd like to put some pressure on you, but. It's not like I can just, you know, change my life and be a gay guy, you know, I just. <laughs> well, yeah, there's, you know, the membership fees and the <laughs> test, so. Just saying, you know, it's right now, lying here, this is nice. It is. Where are we going? Oh, well, let me get some breakfast and we'll go look for your blind boy. So you, you believe me now? Well, we'll see. I admire the change of attitude. Let me check my mail. Okay. Hey. What's up? Oh, my God. Please clear out. Wait, wait, wait! D Zadok! Zadok! Hey! Excuse me, Zadok! Excuse me. Mr. Marsh, Jeffrey Brown of Brown and Barnes. Mr. Barnes couldn't make it today. He had a family emergency. No, that's not going to work. Mr. Barnes was specially appointed by my mother to handle this estate. Mr. Barnes is unreachable. This is Lauren Passerine. Lauren Passerine, Mr. Marsh, executor of the estate, son of the deceased. Miss Passerine would be crying today. They say an auctioneer cries a sale. I know the expression. The buyer of the house will take possession tomorrow at midnight. Fine. There's no escrow. You'll meet with our realtor tomorrow at four. Fine. Shall we go inside? Love to. And now we do a five thousand, five thousand, five thousand. Sold for four thousand dollars to number forty-two. 
Lot 49 uh, is the historical property located at 821 Gable Street. Who will start the bidding at $200,000? Go $200,000. Who will bid $200,000? $200,000. I thank you. I have $200,000. Take two and a quarter. $250,000. $250,000 over there. And that would be $275,000. $275,000. $275,000 here. Now $300,000. $300,000. $300,000 300 there. And now we go three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. I have it three and a quarter. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. Sold for $325,000, right there, number 173. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. My name's Russell Marsh. Just per excuse me, sir, hello? Hey, can you open up the window, please? Can you open up the window, please? Sir, hey, hey! Russell Marsh. You're under arrest for murder? Oh, come on. Rape of a minor? Oh, wait, you can't. Ben, Trespassing. Ben, don't do this. You have the right Brown, to remain silent. In, please. Anything you say Mr. Brown, will can you can step in? Hold on a second. I want to talk to my lawyer. Can you law. step in? If you need an attorney. An asshole! The fuck are you people looking at? We will get one. Oh, yeah, you, you like this? Faggot goes this. off to jail? You're selling in your car. fucking case for fucking prosperity? Hope it's fucking worth it! Oh, it's really fucking worth it. You're a bunch of fucking stupid, fucking ignorant, fucking villain fucking people. You're fucking a bunch of fucking idiots. Now nah, fucking keep watching. You're gonna fucking die. <laughs> Russell Marsh. Guys like you never get sent to the chair. Do they? Rich, powerful family like yours. I'm not going to say anything if I don't have a lawyer here. You want your call? I'll dial the number for you. I'll hold it to your ear. I'm a public servant. Now, who could you call that would possibly want to try and help you? Your family has been sucking the blood and sweat out of this town for a hundred years. You're an educated guy, Russ. What rough beast? It's our come round at last, slouches toward Bethlehem to be born. I'm your rough beast, Russ. I'm gonna bring down your whole family. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. I don't know. I, w I woke up, it was in my motel the day after my mother's funeral. The Miles boy didn't commit suicide. You know you killed him with this. All right, he took me down into the basement, okay? I was being chased, right? It went on for miles. Go there, check it out yourself, you'll see. What did the boy tell you? He said they were waiting for something. Listen, Millie, I'm telling you, they were creatures. I don't know what they were. They were things, and they were everywhere. They were on the ground, they were on the ceiling, they were everywhere. We know what happened. It's not 1975. People know the world is coming apart because we let pieces of shit like you and their sleazy two lawyers open every door and window in the house. We're done with your kind. You're almost hidden in uh, colleges, public television stations, and soon you'll be gone. I just want to see what something like you looks like before I go home. Something I'll never do again. I was just curious.
Empty your pockets. Any prosthetic devices? Contact lenses? Yeah, but I, I can't see without my contacts. Doesn't matter. You're not going anywhere. Don't come home! Tell me what happened. You don't remember? No. Oh, you were sick. You were so sick. You were, you were ranting and then raving, and, and you, you flew out of the house, and I tried to stop you, but I couldn't. Really? Was oh, that what happened? Yeah. Stop lying. 
You tell me what the fuck is going on. You rape me. You have no idea. The whole world is yours and you're just gonna shit all over it. And you fucking get it, Russ. They're all gonna die without you. You tell me what the hell's going on. You tell me what the hell's going on right now. Mm. You know that you wanted me. You just won't admit it. <laughs> hey, buddy. tonight, Professor? No, I never really enjoyed the uh, May Festival. I'm uh, just going to go to the auction of my mother's estate, and then I shall depart this veil of tears. You're going to die? No, no. Just going home. This is your home, Professor. You're like a fresh wind that surrounds this town, like waking does a dream. You'll come see us again soon? I don't plan on it. <clears throat> what, uh, what time do you have? Quarter to five. You must be off. Oh, yeah. Nothing. Your money is no good here, boss. Russell, I'm making this tape at the beginning of April. We just heard about your appointment. I am so proud. You were completely justified in removing yourself from this family. I'll tell you what I know. I won't pretend to understand it entirely. Every generation of Marsh men has died right around the time their grandsons were born, right around the 1st of May. That's always the first time you can smell the sea. It breaks my heart to have been so cold to my own child. But I wanted you away from him. When you were born, your grandfather died, they said. But he didn't die. I've seen him. He went back to where he came from. He went into the sea. thing you could ever imagine. Eternal life. And in the hall of Cthulhu we shall dwell forever. I trust we've managed to plumb an air out of you. I cared for your mother a great deal. 
But what's two years on a life, or ten, or even a hundred, when it's not going to last anyway, no matter what you do? Our bodies will last a hundred thousand years in the sea. They drive and drive the highways we built, even though it's destroying their world. Great Lulu carries us. But they keep moving, searching. They look into his eye for it. All they have is the moment, and they can't bear it. They can't bear the loneliness of it. And when the waters rise into their cities, everything shall be ours with you to lead us, my glorious son. broadcast system. Please be advised, this is not a test. Violence is taking place in coastal areas. Residents of Seaside and Rivermouth counties are advised to remain inside with doors and windows locked until further notice or until law enforcement can reach them. Please be advised, this is not a test. Conspicuous in all of this is the silence of the American. 
president's last public appearance was at his compound on the Hawaiian island of Lanai on Friday. But since the beginning of the crisis, the majority of American representatives have failed to appear on the floor of the Congress. Who is in charge of the world's largest superpower? You wait 15 minutes, and then you go. All right? Thank you. If anyone comes out, I don't care who it is, you put a bullet in them. Don't ask, just shoot. Wenn Louis mit Nass ein Nadel verdammt! Wenn Louis mit Nass ein Nadel verdammt! Would you like to see your children?
son. This is your rightful place. Everything is yours. The old world is dying and we are giving birth to the new. Look, they come. Now, make sacrifice. What are you doing? The man you loved. What greater gift? Rust, Mike. Do it, Russell! Make sacrifice! Russ! Look! Look into the red eye of your god! Russ is Mike! Russ! Russ! Passing 